What if I told you you could study for the NCLEX and not just learn the material, but learn how to read the questions in a way that gives you the correct answer? This is Professor Wick from RN2 Professors with an NCLEX question review for you on pediatrics, normal growth and development, focusing on infancy. There will be a link to the playlist for the other developmental age groups at the end of this video. Stick around because I'm going to walk you through several questions and give you specific strategies you can use to get the correct answer and pass your test. Here are some valuable pieces of information that you will need when you're studying for pediatrics, normal growth and development. Erickson's psychosocial stages, developmental milestones, child and adolescent immunization schedules, and child safety. To get these tip sheets and other free downloads, join us in our Facebook group. Use the link displayed in the upper corner. Let's review. The mother of a one month old states that she is curious as to whether her infant is developing normally. Which of the following developmental milestones would the nurse inform the mother that the infant is expected to perform at this age? Number one, rolling from back to front. Number two, smiling and laughing out loud. Number three, turning head from side to side. Number four, holding a rattle for 10 seconds. This question is about normal developmental milestones for a one month old. When reading the answers, make sure that all the information in the option is true before you choose it. Some answers can be only half true to distract you from the real answer if you aren't paying close attention. Review the milestones and take a look at the options again. Number one, rolling from front to back. Number two, smiling and laughing out loud. Number three, turning head from side to side. Number four, holding a rattle for 10 seconds. The correct answer is number three. At one month of age, infants are still performing basic skills like moving their heads from side to side. Here's why the other answers are incorrect. Infants roll from back to front at about six to seven months of age. Infants smile when they're one and a half to two months of age, but they don't start to laugh out loud until they're six to seven months of age. Infants begin to hold rattles if placed in their hands at about three months of age. Here's your next question. A nurse is educating a parent regarding the psychosocial stage of development of the infancy period. Which of the following information did the nurse include in the discussion? Number one, infants should have their needs met in a timely fashion. Number two, mothers should let their babies cry themselves to sleep each night. Number three, infants should be scolded for bad behavior whenever they break objects. Number four, mothers should sneak out of the room when they must leave their babies. This question is based on the Erickson psychosocial stage of infancy period. You need to pick the answer that teaches the parent how to best meet their child's psychosocial needs formed during their developmental stage. Reread the answers again to determine which one fits the question the best. Number one, infants should have their needs met in a timely fashion. Number two, mothers should let their babies cry themselves to sleep each night. Number three, infants should be scolded for bad behavior when they break an object. Number four, mothers should sneak out of the room when they must leave their babies. The correct answer is number one. The Erickson psychosocial stage of infancy period is trust versus mistrust. Parents develop trust when they meet the infant's needs in a timely manner. This includes feedings and diaper changes. The other answers are incorrect for the following reasons. It is not recommended that infants cry themselves to sleep each night or be disciplined for breaking items. Mothers who sneak out when they leave their infants are not promoting a sense of trust in their children. Next question. A six month old child received the following playthings as a gift from a relative. The nurse should advise the parents that which of the items are potentially dangerous for the child to play with. Number one, a stuffed animal. Number two, balloon. Number three, toy cell phone. Number four, shape sorter. This question is asking about safety and appropriate toys for this developmental age. The keywords here are potentially dangerous. 
This is telling you to pick the toy the child should not play with. Read the answers again and pick the toy the child should not play with. Number one, stuffed animal. Number two, balloon. Number three, toy cell phone. Number four, shape sorter. The correct answer is number two. Although older children can safely play with balloons, infants and toddlers should not play with them. A young child could easily inhale either an uninflated or broken balloon and suffocate when putting the item in his or her mouth during play. The rest of the toys are safe for a six month old to play with. Next question. The mother of a newborn asks the nurse when the infant will receive the first hepatitis B immunization. Which is the nurse's best response? Number one. Babies receive the hepatitis B vaccine only if their mother is hepatitis B positive. Number two, the first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine will be given prior to discharge today. Number three, the first dose of hepatitis B vaccine is given at one year of age. Number four, babies receive the first hepatitis B vaccine at six months of age. To answer this question, you need to have knowledge of the vaccine schedule. While well, reading the answers again, choose the best answer for the nurse to give the parent. Number one, babies receive the hepatitis B vaccine only if their mother is hepatitis B positive. Number two, the first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine will be given prior to discharge today. Number three, the first dose of hepatitis B vaccine is given at one year of age. Number four, babies receive their first hepatitis B vaccine at six months of age. The correct answer is number two. The first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine is recommended between birth and two months. In most hospitals, newborns are given the vaccine prior to discharge. Number one is incorrect because babies born to mothers positive for hepatitis B receive the first dose of a hepatitis B vaccine within 12 hours of delivery. Options three and four are incorrect due to the time frames. Final question. An eight-day-old was admitted to the hospital with vomiting and diarrhea. The newborn's heart rate is 170, respiratory rate is 44, blood pressure is 85 over 52, and the temperature is 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is the nurse's best response to the parents who ask if the vital signs are normal? Number one, the blood pressure is elevated, but the other vital signs are within normal limits. Number two, the temperature is elevated, but the other vital signs are within normal limits. Number three, the respiratory rate is elevated, but the other vital signs are within normal limits. Number four, the heart rate is elevated, but the other vital signs are within normal limits. In this question, you need to know the normal vital signs of an infant. As you read through the answers, determine which vital sign is not within the normal limits. They even give you a further hint by stating that the vital sign is elevated in each answer and the rest would be normal. Number one, the blood pressure is elevated. Number two, the temperature is elevated. Number three, the respiratory rate is elevated. Or number four, the heart rate is elevated. The correct answer is number four. A normal heart rate for an infant is 90 to 160 beats per minute. The rest of the vital signs are all within normal limits. That is all for this review. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, check out the others in the series and click like, subscribe, and the bell to get notified when new videos are posted.